What is up everybody? I hope you're having a fantastic day and I wanted to continue my videos on Dominion 6 going over some of the guides. I have a couple videos already up. These are just quick guides, basics for new players. These are not perfect. These are not, you know, 100% the best way to do anything, but it gives players a new, gives them a foothold, gives them a starting point, and hopefully it helps people understand the game and know, kind of figure out what they're doing and not stumble around so much in the dark. This video I want to talk about setting up your pretender god and creating them and kind of understanding like what should I go for, what should I do, you know, all that good stuff. You're going to pick a nation like usual. Uh, you know, you right click a nation to see what they got, what they do. So we're going to play as Pangea or Pangaea. I'm, I'm sorry if I, you know, sometimes I'm a little, get a little dyslexic. But uh, these guys, you got the story, you know, a little story synopsis of the nation, which is always nice flavor text, you know, the lore, the backstory. This is what matters, the national features. Uh, so we're forest beings, we got stealthy troops, and troops will heal battle afflictions. Very nice. Our military mostly consists of satyr, minotaur infantry, centaur archers, and warriors. So that is our main military. Our magic, we have magical tunes. We got nature magic, earth magic, glamour magic, blood, and some water. We can also conjure by bramble forts. So when you look at these, so nature, earth, glamour, blood. A little bit of water splashed in. Nature, earth, and glamour. Blood is kind of its own beast. Uh, you got to kind of build around it. If you're a new player, I don't know if you should mess around too much with blood. I mean, you can do whatever you want. But I would maybe ignore it if this is like your first time playing. Because it does have little different mechanics. It's powerful and it's great. But I would, I would say avoid it if you could. Glamour is the new magic in Dominions 6. And then nature and earth. So, our scales... We have a turmoil limit of plus one, a growth limit of plus one, so that's good. Our priests are average and can perform blood sacrifices. These are our buildings, primitive fort. You know, you can, you can read all this, so let's go forward. We got them. That's who we're going to be. Now, here we are at the Pretender God creation, which is this is what the video is mostly about. You go to this page and you're like, okay, what do I do? What is all this? What is all this? Well, you're going to start by clicking. These are your design points. This is how many points you have to spend. You're going to click up here. You're going to pick what they call a chassis. This is the body that your pretender god will possess. The bottom tier, Dominion 1, these are all just pretty much basic human bodies. They're not... I'm not going to go into too much detail about like which one's best and what's what and why Domain 1 is this and 2 is that and 3, but I will say just look... What's what looks cool to you? Look at it, check its stats, read what read like its parameters, its properties, and be like, does that look cool? Does that sound cool? Because that's a great way to start. There's really like, I mean, there are like metas, I guess, or somewhat, but just pick something that looks cool. What I want to show you though is what you should look for if you're trying to be a little more optimal. If your faction is what's the word I'm looking for, you know, got synergy with one of these chassis, like works well, you'll know because you will get a point reduction. So if we go over to the Lord of Wild, you can see he's 230 points. It's reduced by 20 points by for this nation, which means I get a discount for my pretender god based on my faction. He's normally 250, I get him for 230. So this is one way to get a little more points to spend when you're setting him up. So I'm just going to pick him just for the sake of it. And one thing we're going to look at is his innate magic abilities. He has a research of 11, one blood, to uh, nature magic so when we look at him here we go one blood to nature so we have 220 points one of the major ways to get more points is to actually actually put him into a dormant state or an imprisoned state and if you do dormant he gains you know you get 150 points and he's asleep for a year you do imprisoned he's asleep for three years give or take and you get an extra 350 i recommend dormant just to get the bonus points, and then he's, he doesn't come out for the first year or so, and then you're good. So I would recommend that. And prison's pretty rough. That's over three years. So Now what we want to do is we notice he starts with these. So we want to kind of capitalize on that. And you have these things called bless effects. And your bless effects get stronger the more you have into a magic school. So one of the best ways to do that, I recommend getting like to four at least in a lot of spots, because then you get custom priest spells and stuff. So what's my faction? Earth and uh, nature are the main, and then it's got a splash of water, so we could go some water. You are pot you are welcome to put into any of these, but I'm just saying, like, your nation kind of has an optimal focus because all your other mages are going to have those. 
none of my mages are probably going to have access to fire or air magic or death magic, possibly, maybe astral, you know, so you got to kind of just pay attention to that. So pick what you want, get that all set up. We're just, I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker because I'm already kind of drawing this out. Add bless effect. Now what these do is these affect your sacred units and your sacred units are going to have a sacred candle by them and it's going to say sacred. When you have a priest in battle with your sacred units, they will cast the blessing on them and then those units will gain these passive effects. So unbreakable, you know, strength of the earth plus one strength. We have resilient, extra hit points. You know, all these, you pick them, and if it says incarnate only, this bless will only take place if your god is awake. If they are on the map. Not dead, not asleep. They have to exist in the plane of existence you are, and you will get these effects. So that's what incarnate only means. I'm not going to pick all of these, but we got three points left. You can't go negative. You have to just zero this out. And the cost is based on the mana cost here. This costs two, this costs one. You know, these cost, this costs a lot more. So you just gotta, you gotta pick those and then you're good. Now we get to Dominion, Turmoil, Order. So these are all kind of like your scales is what they call them. Dominion's important. I would try to get this to like four or five if you could because it affects how well your Dominion spreads, how, how hard it is for other pretender gods to take away your Dominion and all that stuff. Order and Turmoil can be useful to give you unrest reduction and all that good stuff. Production is great, so you get more recruitment points, you get more resources. These are your heat scales, hot and cold, depending on your nation. You may want to increase these or lower these to get more benefits if you're a hot or cold nation. You know, you got your growth and food, you got luck, and then you got magic, get more magic and stuff. The tooltips explain everything perfectly, so you, if you have any questions, just read the tooltip. Very, very informative there, so that's really good. You set all this up, and then you click OK, and that's your pretender god. So at the end of the day, there are optimal ways, and there's suboptimal ways, but pick what sounds good to you. Experiment. Dominions is a pretty fun sandboxy game. You just kind of do what you want and feel it through, and you know, just experiment. It's the most fun part. You know, just but what's it? What's like if I just put like you know, got them up to nine, ten, maxed out this, and then did this and. You know, it's just, it's cool. And you might come up with cool strategies and stuff. I guarantee you, this game's so complex. Even the people that have been playing it forever, they don't know everything. You know, there's so many combos and things that may or may not work. And it, with this new game, there's a lot more new stuff. Things have been reworked and changed. So nobody really knows what's best right now, you know. So that is my advice to you. Hopefully this helps you understand, you know, setting up your pretender god and getting that all going. If you guys have any questions or comments, please let me know down below. And as always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one. Until then, later, guys. Peace out. Have a good one.